there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today to show you how to look expensive and classy on a budget. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be showing you tips on how to look rich, how to look classy, how to look elegant on a budget, which is just a wonderful thing. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in makeup, skincare, and fashion for us women over 50, then I hope you'll subscribe, click the notification bell, and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this. I'm so excited to share this with you. And I'm very excited that Lily Silk partnered with me. And in fact, they provided me with this gorgeous blouse that you can see right now. This is their hidden placket blouse. And look at this. It is 100% silk, absolutely gorgeous. And I have to say, I have seen Lily Silk on YouTubers channels all across the internet. And I always wondered, do those clothes really look as good in person as they do online? And I am here to tell you from personal experience, these clothes look better than they do. Look at the sheen of the silk. It is 100% silk. Look at the fine detailing there. Look at the crispness of this. And the thing I really like about this silk is the thickness of it. It is not one of those thin, cheap silks. I have gotten those in the past, and quite honestly, I wear them maybe once. They go through the wash, they look terrible. This is not that at all. This is high quality silk. It is mulberry silk, which is some of the world's finest silk, and it is made at 750 threads per square inch. That's how you get the really crisp collars, the gorgeous satin sheen, the fact that you cannot see through this because a lot of the silk is so thin out there that you can see through it, which isn't good. And before I get into the tips to keep you expensive and rich looking on a budget, I did want to tell you a little bit about Lily Silk. They are a company in China, although amazingly enough, when you order from them, the order gets here in like two to three days. They send it very fast shipping, which is just amazing. And I never knew there were so many types of clothing out of silk. They have blouses there, of course. They have skirts. They have pants. They have lots of pajamas and even bedding. And they sent me a couple of blouses to show you a couple of wonderful items that I'll be showing you in addition to this gorgeous thing, which I absolutely love. But they also sent me two pillowcases and I got mine monogrammed. And you can get any of the silk items monogrammed if you want. And all of the items come absolutely beautifully packaged. All of these Lily Silk items come beautifully packaged, each one separately. They're just very luxurious. This would make a great gift for someone. You open up the box there. Isn't that beautiful? And they're all just like this. Look how fine that is. It's absolutely gorgeous silk, and it is perfectly packaged. Just beautiful. And then this is how these gorgeous pillowcases come. And I got this monogrammed, which I think is just beautiful. Look at this. FPB 50 Plus Beauty. Isn't that just cool? I love that. I would have had my initials, but my initials, I'm Beth Snyder, so my initials would have been BS. I didn't think that'd be too, too great. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous and classy? I am so excited to sleep on that. Okay, and mentioning that silk pillowcase, I have been sleeping on it for about the past month, and I absolutely love it, and I have a beauty related channel and I think the way we sleep is super important. Number one, I think back sleeping is absolutely the best if you can do that. But even if you can't back sleep, one thing you can do is get a silk pillowcase. This just feels, oh, I wish you could feel this. It is absolutely a fabulous, smooth, wonderful experience sleeping on a silk pillowcase. And the neat thing is that it's very gentle on your face and it doesn't tend to press your lines in as much as a harsh cotton pillowcase would, because basically this silk just lets your wrinkles and your skin just kind of glide over it. So it is very gentle on your skin. And I really think over time, you're going to see beauty benefits through sleeping on a silk pillowcase, not just on your skin though, but also on your hair. I have noticed that when I sleep on a silk pillowcase, in the morning, I hardly have to flat iron my hair nearly as much as I would when I was sleeping on a normal kind of rough cotton pillowcase because this kind of helps your style to stay in place as you're sleeping through the night. Also, silk is antibacterial, so it is good for your skin and your hair and your overall body. If you have allergies, sleeping on silk is a wonderful thing to do. But silk is also breathable, which means on those hot summer nights, spring and summer nights, 
instead of sweating and waking up drenched in sweat and having to wash your hair because you've been sweating, silk is breathable and so it wicks that moisture away from you, which leads to a very comfortable night's sleep. And I have to say that after getting these two silk pillowcases, the next step for me is investing in the full set of silk sheets because I just can't imagine how great it would feel sleeping on these silk sheets. I've never even thought about it before. And really, this is about the first time I've been up close and personal with really quality silk. And it makes me want to make silk a part, not only of my wardrobe, but also of my sleeping in the evening. Okay, now I will tell you that this is a little housekeeping detail. I have kind of a wardrobe room in the basement that I just tried to start and I'm having problems with the lighting there a little bit. And some of the little parts of this video on looking expensive and classy on a budget will be filmed downstairs in my new wardrobe room. Okay, tip number one to look expensive and classy is to invest in quality fabrics. Now, nylon and polyester are everywhere and they're very, very cheap. And they give you a good look maybe for the first few wearings, but those tend to be the items that after a few washes, they stay in the back of my closet and I don't really pay attention to them. It is the items that you spend a little bit more on. And I will tell you, this lily silk is not expensive. It's a little more expensive than maybe a cheap silk, but it is a beautiful quality silk and the items are made so well, you will have them for years. And so tip number one to look expensive and classy is to invest in quality fabrics. And let me go ahead and show you kind of the little capsule wardrobe that I'll be showing you today. And as you can see, they're just basic items. They are all solid colors. And that's another tip. Prints just aren't very rich making. Solid colors do look a lot richer. But basically you've got a couple of little sweaters here. These happen to be cardigans, a couple of pairs of black pants, a black pencil skirt, and this was actually from Express, but it's a great quality pencil skirt. In fact, I own two of them from Express, they're amazing. And this is one of the Lily Silk shirts that I will be showing you today. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the sheen on that. And this is actually a double duty shirt because it comes with this bow, and bow blouses are really in right now. I remember them from the 80s, it's what we all wore in business but isn't that gorgeous? I'll show you that on in just a few moments. Then we just have a little neutral blazer, another little black blazer, and here we have another item from Lily Silk that I've been absolutely loving. This is a little silk trench coat. Absolutely gorgeous, totally made out of silk, very, very lightweight. And then I have some shoes and some accessories we'll be talking about too. So tip number two is to wear and invest in neutral colors. And these are neutral colors here. And in just a few moments, I'll be showing you a head to toe neutral looking outfit. And that is one way to look rich is to do a monochromatic of any color, but especially neutrals and or black. And that's a tip that is coming up an all black outfit. But first I'll show you a neutral outfit incorporating this lovely blouse. And then after that, I'll quickly show you how to dress down this black with jeans, and I have to say, even though jeans aren't neutral in color exactly, I consider them a neutral because I wear them pretty much every day of my life, and I wanted to show you how you can dress up your jeans and make them look a little richer by adding one fabulous piece like this blouse. Now, the first great tip in terms of a rich monochromatic look is to wear white basically from head to toe. And you can mix whites and ivories, off-whites and tans to get that long, lean, monochromatic look. And here I have styled this ivory, gorgeous, lily silk blouse with white capris, very simple summer white capris. And then I've added a big wide belt. This is an old Michael Kors belt that I had in my closet. I'll put something similar below the video. It doesn't have to be that at all. You probably have something similar in your closet too. And I've also styled it with pointy tan pumps. And pointy toed shoes are another great tip to look rich and expensive. There's nothing really rich about a square toe or an almond toe, but something about the classic nature of pointy toe shoes just absolutely adds that heightened look of richness of elegance. Even if that's a pointy toe flat, that's absolutely fine. A pointy toed flat, a mule, a pointy toed pump as we're showing here, Pointy toed shoes just elongate your feet, they make your legs look longer and they just look rich. Now, the next tip I'm going to give you is something I learned from a very classy looking employee we have at work named Taffy. Taffy is one of our newest employees at my company and I'm always amazed at how put together, rich and elegant she looks every single day that she comes to work. And one of her main tips, one of the things she does a lot 
is she will take a black cardigan sweater. Here she is, isn't she darling? She'll take a black cardigan sweater and loop it around her shoulders, just kind of give herself a nice little wrap. And her office is cold, so that's helpful. But I think something about having that added layer on your shoulders really, number one, gives you that kind of hourglass look and it makes you look kind of important because you've kind of like having epaulets up there or something. It just gives you more of a rich look. Taffy even does this with very casual looks. Like she came in the other day with a WSU team sweatshirt and she had the black sweater draped around her shoulders and she just looks so cute. And I have to admit, I'm not really very much of a casual person and I don't love wearing team jerseys and that kind of thing, but I'm going to take a tip from Taffy and add that black sweater. Now, before I got out of that outfit, I was showing you that very neutral outfit. I also wanted to add this wonderful trench coat that I received from Lily Silk. And I'll show it there with that outfit. And it is absolutely a gorgeous classic trench, but it is made out of 100% pure silk. Who knew that you could style silk in this way in such a classic, classic way? I love this trench coat. As you can tell, it has all the classic details, those gorgeous epaulets there with those great two-tone buttons. It has a placket in the back, as you can see. It has a gorgeous wide collar. And again, these fabulous buttons. And you can see there, it's got the sleeve detail too. Absolutely wonderful. Especially in the spring where it's getting kind of cool outside, it is so wonderful to have a very classy outer layer that is lightweight enough that you can wear it on spring days and look just great. Now, there I am in that Lily Silk blouse casual out outfit with the black sweater. And here it is in real life. Absolutely love this. And this is an Amazon essential sweater. I think it's like $20, something around in there. I have this in several colors. I've got a gray one, a light gray one, a red one, and a black one. Absolutely love it. It is inexpensive and it does keep you warm. Although I don't really tend to wear cardigans much, I actually purchased them after seeing Taffy look so great in them. And actually today at work, I wore this for the first time and absolutely loved it. Now, just for grins, let me show you that same outfit with that red sweater. And I've styled it with tan this time, kind of neutral to everything out, neutral the accessories out. I have, again, the tan pointy-toed pumps look very, very nice. And I've added one of my favorite handbags, which is a very structured leather handbag, 100% leather from Teddy Blake of New York. I absolutely love their bags. And that's a great tip. If you really want a rich looking accessory and you don't want to shell out thousands of dollars for a true designer piece, like a Louis Vuitton bag or Chanel bag or something like that. Teddy Blake has absolutely beautiful bags. Their styling is gorgeous and their quality is really phenomenal. Now, there is a second part to tip number two, wear neutrals, and that is to wear all black. I had to show you this incredible blouse. And this again is from Lily Silk. It is 100% silk and I have styled it a little different. I have added shoulder pads from Amazon and they stick on and they're not very expensive and shoulders are in this year. Big shoulders are in. And so I thought, take this fabulous blouse they did, this beautiful kind of romantic blouse that they did and even pump it up a notch by emphasizing the shoulders even more. And it is a bow blouse. I hope you can see that against the black. There's that little satin bow there. Actually, it's a silk bow. And I've taken the collar and done kind of a Bridgerton effect. I have taken it up and then just the little ends flip down and then there is that beautiful bow there and it goes clear down. You don't have to use the bow. You can totally take it off, which I'll show you that in just a moment. Or you can just let the two tails just kind of run free. But take a look at this blouse. This is an incredible blouse. And I forgot to mention there is a discount code below the video. It's 10 or 15% off and I can't remember exactly, but it is below the video and it's for your entire purchase. So if you're going to be buying some silk items, now is a great time with that discount. But look at the beautiful details. Just a little bit of a gathering there at the sleeve to give you that emphasis on your shoulder. And look at this. They did not have to do this, but look at these fabulous, fabulous buttons. That is the thing about Lily Silk. Their buttons are incredible. They often do something unexpected, like add a glorious button. Doesn't that have the Bridgerton look? I think it really does. Now with this Bridgerton outfit from Lily Silk in terms of the shirt, I've gone ahead and made it look a little more work-like. I think the last look was a little formal, but I've added a black pencil skirt. And this one happens to be from Express. 
And in fact, I noticed in my closet, two of my pencil skirts are from Express, basically my only two pencil skirts. And I think they have fabulous quality and I'll try to find something that kind of matches below. And also one thing I wanted to mention about all of these Lily Silk shirts is that they come in a huge array of colors. So you can stay monochromatic and have like an all red look, an all green look, an all navy look. It doesn't really matter, but about any color you could imagine will be on the Lily Silk website. They do beautiful things with silk. But basically this pencil skirt outfit, I've paired it with some tan pumps because lately people have realized that instead of always matching your black shoes to your black skirt or your black pants, Sometimes it's helpful to use a neutral shoe because that just elongates the legs and it doesn't call attention to your feet, which is not necessarily our best area. And I've paired it with a black Louis Vuitton purse and I did get this pre-loved, which I'll explain later in the video. It's a great way to buy designer goods for maybe half or even less of the original price, which is just wonderful. And one reason I bought this shirt instead of one that had an attached bow, and they have several of those on the Lily Silk website, is I wanted the versatility of being a little more formal with the bow. Sometimes people either loop it down here, do a little lower bow, or they will just take these two tails and just let those kind of hang, which I don't think that looks bad at all. Now, tip number three to look more expensive and classy is to add a blazer. And that's what I've done right here. And it is very obvious that you can add a blazer to like a pants outfit or a skirt and have a nice elegant suit outfit. But something that's a little more unexpected, but done a lot anymore, is to add a blazer to a casual outfit like jeans. And that's what I've done here in this outfit I've styled. I have that black Bridgerton shirt unbuttoned because it gives it a more casual look. And the blazer I have is just a light creamy colored blazer. I think this was from J. Crew. And again, this is an old one I had in my closet. I'm sure you have one, but I'll link one below. I actually think J. Crew does gorgeous blazers, no doubt about it. In this case, I don't have a belt on. I've just got the blouse hanging free, which actually looks beautiful. And I've styled it with a brown belt and leopard shoes. And that is my Louis Vuitton purse that I actually did purchase new. And at the end of this video, I'll be sharing a place online where you can get great designer items totally at a bargain price. And with regard to that Louis Vuitton purse, I did buy it full price, but those are kind of a dime a dozen out there. And had I waited and gotten it pre-loved, I could have probably saved about 50%. So I kicked myself a little bit about that. But now I've kind of reversed that look out. I have the ivory lily silk blouse, absolutely gorgeous, paired with a dark black blazer that I had in my closet. I'm sure you have black blazers in your closet as well. And here I styled it with tan pointy-toed pumps as before, and also that tan Teddy Blake bag, very classy looking and structured. Then I have this great belt, which is kind of a Cordovan color. I don't know, I probably really butchered that word, but I really like it. It has kind of a designer look to it without being a direct knockoff. And that is a great deal from Amazon. It's a reversible belt, 100% leather. It doesn't cost a lot of money. And in that outfit, I've taken some more of the capsule pieces and mixed and matched them a little bit. I've styled the dark blazer and the light blouse with my Levi straight jeans and the pointy toed pumps. And again, I have that lovely Teddy Blake tan purse, really, really pretty look. And the thing I really like about this look, number one, it's a great way when you have on jeans, but you wanna be a little more special, a little more rich looking, just add a blazer and that just kind of does it. But it also continually reminds us of Pretty Woman and how fabulous she looked in that movie with that navy blazer and that white t-shirt. Now, that t-shirt probably cost $200 just for the t-shirt alone, but she looked like she just threw on a t-shirt and jeans and just happened to put on that crisp blue blazer and she looked absolutely phenomenal. I think Pretty Woman alone helped make this a fabulous and enduring style. Okay, tip number four is to get a few upscale items. They don't necessarily have to be designer items per se. They can just be well-made items, well-made accessories that kind of elevate your look. And I'll show you some great little secrets I found on Amazon in just a few moments for some great belts. But if you like designer pieces, and I really kind of do like them, I got this Louis Vuitton purse off of Fashion File, and it was very inexpensive. And then also I got the little purse jewelry, which is Louis Vuitton as well. Actually, that was about as much as the purse was. 
but I really do like Fashion File because they have thousands of items, a lot to choose from, and they also guarantee the authenticity of their items and they give you a 30 day return. And I believe it's free shipping both ways. Not totally sure about that, but it is a wonderful way to get designer goods that don't cost you an arm and a leg. Now, if you like designer items, but you don't want to pay the price, I got this off of Amazon and it is a little Gucci looking belt and it is 100% leather. I really like it, it's wonderful. And I'll link it below for you. And I found these little belts, which I love. I got two of these. And what they are, and they sort of approximate a designer. I don't think they are really a direct knockoff of anyone, but they're very classy and they are 100% leather. And like this one is Cordovan on one side, and then you just pull this up like that. And then you have black on the other side. I love those belts that you get double duty out of. And this one is the same way, but it is black and then brown on the back. And they were under $20, well under $20. And I also liked this little belt, which is kind of designer looking, but again, I really liked it. It's the animal print and it is a cow leather. So it is 100% leather. So that is a good buy and it's linked below. Now I also found these on Amazon and I love these sunglasses. I could have made that a tip in and of itself, girls. You need a pair of great sunglasses. And these are approximations of the Gucci sunglasses and I think they're $500, something like that, which I really can't see. But these were maybe $15, and I think they are polarized too. Is that the right word? I'm not sure, but I think they are. You could get them non-polarized or polarized, and I think I got the polarized. Maybe these were 18, and the non-polarized were 15. But look at that. That just looks rich and movie star-like. The minute you put on these big shades, it's kind of like you want to know, who is that mystery girl behind those sunglasses? but I just think those are lovely. Okay, <laughs> this last one is with a coat that I got off of H&M, amazingly enough, and I think it is so cool. I will link it below. We're, we're a little bit passing the season for coats, but I just think that is fabulous. I think it's wonderful. And this is actually a real Chanel pin, and I wanted to show this to you because I did get this off of Fashion File as well. Isn't that beautiful? And I just think it is so pretty. It's got the little crystals in it, which are so pretty. But I think a pin like that just elevates the look of any coat or jacket. Now, tip number five to look expensive and classy is basic good grooming. A little bit of planning and what you're wearing, a little bit of care about your appearance really goes a long, long way. It goes without saying that your clothes should be clean and not stained and that kind of stuff but they should be ironed. And I know if you don't like to iron, sometimes I don't either. I like this little steamer and this is maybe a little small, quite honestly, I may order a larger one because I noticed with the silk blouses, it was great to steam them. Although I did iron one of them too and that worked out just fine. But do invest in a steamer because sometimes you don't wanna get out the iron and the ironing board. So just grabbing the steamer out of your closet and then filling it with water and one or two minutes later, you're getting those wrinkles out. <laughs> It's very satisfying too. I really, really like that. And a second tip that's really important in terms of good grooming is to go to the tailor. Basically, clothing off the rack is meant to fit the average person. And so most of the time, it doesn't totally fit each one of us that well. You know, the waist needs to be taken in. Maybe it needs a little whittling down on the side, something like that. In the past year, I've actually spent a lot of money on having my clothes tailored. And it really doesn't cost that much, maybe 10 or $15 per item to have something taken in and custom fitted for me, but it makes all the difference in the world. And actually I've noticed that there were items I was not wearing just because I didn't feel quite right in them. But once they were tailored and fitted to me, they became some of my favorite things. And even though the tailoring costs a little bit, it's an investment in your clothes that adds to your enjoyment. And it also means you're more likely to wear them, which is wonderful. Now, the third tip in terms of good grooming is to plan ahead. And this is pretty simple, but I'll go ahead and show you. I have this little thing in my closet. Alan installed it. We got it from Amazon. I'll link it below. But basically, it is a little pull-out rack, and it allows you to plan your outfits the night before. And I have really noticed that I'm looking better now that I'm taking maybe 10 or 15 minutes the night before to plan what I'm going to wear the next day and putting those items there. Plus it's nice the next morning if I'm running late, it is a no brainer to be able to get dressed because the next morning I just wear those items that I planned the night before. It's really, really a wonderful tip. 
And in addition to those five tips to help us look more expensive and classy, the most important tip is my bonus tip, and that is to enjoy your life and let everyone know it. In other words, whatever you are choosing to wear for that day, own it and feel good with it and try to meet the world with a smile. Because really, even if you have every part of your wardrobe perfectly in place, if you're rigid and unhappy and angry, that doesn't impress anyone and that doesn't make us feel very good about ourselves inside. So as you're going through your day to day, just try to count your blessings and put on a huge smile. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.